Hello everyone, this is Navanita. Now we are going to discuss the topic from reflection of light by plane surfaces. So, in class 6, we have learned about shadows and we carried out many experiments with light rays and also discussed the rectilinear propagation of light. That is, light travels in a straight line. So, in this class, we learned the laws of reflection. So, let us recall some of them. So, a source of light, an opaque object and a screen are needed to form a shadow. Okay, a source of light, an opaque object and screen are needed to form a shadow. So, light travels in a straight line. So, when light gets reflected from a surface, when light gets reflected from a surface, the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. Okay. So, the incident ray, the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. Right. So, this is a surface of the mirror or plane surface right so when the light ray is falling on this mirror we can say this as the incident ray so the light will bounces back so the light ray is known as reflected ray and this is the normal it is formed at the point of incidence or at the point of reflection and it is perpendicular to the surface of the mirror Right? So, this incident ray, the normal at the point of incidence and reflected ray all lie in the same plane. Okay. So, you must have observed shadows and images in your daily life. Right? So, some questions might have come to your mind while observing these shadows or images. So, here you may get some questions. How can we get the image of a big building in a small mirror? Yes, how can we get the image of a big building in a small mirror? So, here if we use a convex mirror, we get the image of a big building in a small mirror. Yes, by using of a convex mirror. Can we get the image formed by a plane mirror on a screen? Here. An opaque object's needed screen to form a shadow. Okay. So, why is there right-left inversion? That means a lateral inversion when we look into a mirror. So here, the light ray which comes from object. Okay, listen carefully here. The light ray which comes from object get reflected from the plane mirror. So assume that this is a plane mirror. So when the source of light is incident on the mirror, it will be reflected back. Yes, so the light ray which comes from an object get reflected from the plane mirror and reach our eye. So our brain feels that the ray is coming from the inside of the mirror. Okay, here our brain feels that the ray is coming from the inside of the mirror. So there is right left inversion. Okay. So, why is the angle of reflection equal to the angle of incidence when a light ray gets reflected from a surface? So, here simply because light selects a path that takes place the least time. Light selects the path that takes the least time. Okay? So, here. 
one simple activity that is formation of image by a pinhole camera so recall how an image forms in a pinhole camera that you have learned in our class 6 yes so draw a ray diagram for the formation of an image in a pinhole camera so we have to take a uh, one pinhole camera so here this is a pinhole to this camera so now we have to observe the image formation and we have to draw the ray diagrams for the formation of image in a pinhole camera so here what would happen what would happen if we increase the size of the hole of the pinhole camera here through this pinhole camera the light rays enters inside to this camera right so this is the source of the light that means this is the object here so from this object the light ray is enters to inside of the camera right from the top of the light and the from the bottom of the light right so here so observe the flame of a candle with pinhole camera making a big hole so when we increase the hole size here we have to observe the flame of the candle that means we have to observe the formation of image so here try to draw ray diagram for the formation of image in a pinhole camera with a big hole yes so here by observing the figure we can understand that the light ray coming from the top of the candle flame fall at different points on the screen so this is the object point right so here we have the pinhole camera right so the light ray enters through this pinhole yes right so this is the object here so it will form an inverted image right so here the light ray is coming from the top top of the candle flame fall at different points on the screen and similarly the light ray is coming from the bottom of the candle flame also fall at different points on the screen so thus we get blurred image on the screen due to the big hole of the camera right so when the hole is very small yes when the hole is very small we can see we get the clear image on the screen yes so here due to big hole of the camera we get blurred image on the screen and this is here inverted image and it is get blurred here okay so here when the light rays coming from the top of the candle flame fall at different points on the screen and similarly the rays coming from the bottom of the candle flame also fall at different points on the screen so by increasing of the hole on the camera yes the by increasing the hole of the camera we get blurred image instead of clear image we'll get blurred image here okay